Nick Vieri is a pro bike mechanic and bike shop owner with over 20 years of experience. In today's episode, he's going to go through 10 more things that he loves. Sulka hand pump, just with gravel, this thing's lovely. Pulls that, it's got a hose. That just has a quick release. Flip it on, flip it off. It's just really easy when you're trying to pump up your tires if you've had a puncture or tubeless flat and you just need to like put a bit more air in. That's meant, but it's really expensive. Don't quote me on this, but I think they reads off about north of 90 quid. So treat yourself, but there are other options. It's just as good, it's not as expensive. Something like the SKS uh, Airflex. Really good, just got a cap on there, pull it out. There's loads of other versions where you have to unscrew everything, screw it in, just really easy. High volume, because nobody's running really high pressures anymore. While I've got you lot here, um, CO2 cartridges on sealant is not a good idea, so just stop doing it. You can use it to seat a tie in an emergency, but if you need to put a bit of air in, use a hand pump. Trust me on this one, your sealant will last much longer um, and your bike will be a lot happier. Celis and Marco dynamic short foot saddles. Obviously it's a new trend, shorter saddles, bigger cutouts, slightly wider. These ones curve down a little bit more, so different to the specialized short foot saddle, um, which we've just noticed in customers causes them less hassle. No saddles can be perfect for everyone, but this is a saddle we find that fits most people uh, in the shop. Just really easy, makes my job a lot easier. Um, if you've got a bad saddle, bike's uncomfortable, you're not gonna enjoy riding the bike, doesn't matter how nice your bike is. Um, invest in a decent saddle. They do a narrow one, they do a wide one, and I think they do prices from about 75 pounds upwards all the way up to a 3D printed carbon version, which is 370 pounds if I'm not mistaken. Nipex pliers. Um, I've got about 15 of these different, obviously different for different things. Uh, pliers, cable cutters, side cutters, I've got bolt cutters. Um, they're just really good. Everything I've used in the past usually lasts in the workshop about two or three months and they get blunt. When they get blunt, you try and cut a cable, it frays. You need something you can do a clean cut in a workshop. Um, these just last forever. They also cut so much better than anything else out there. It's like a hot knife through butter. Perfectly cut every single time. Invest in these and you wouldn't have to buy new pliers for a really, really long time. The new thermoplastic inner tubes. You get Pirelli makes them, Schwab makes a really nice set, uh, Tubulito makes some. I'm pretty sure there's other brands that are gonna be bringing them out that I can't think of right now. But why I like them is this inner tube over here is for a 27 and a half inch or 650B wheel up to 2.1 inch but it's tiny and it weighs nothing. Meaning if you need to keep something in your spares, in your saddlebag, um, they're great. They advertise them as being more puncture resistant and lighter. They keep air better than latex. It's still really comfortable. I couldn't care less about that. I only like it because I carry it as a spare inner tube in case of emergency um, while bike packing or doing any rides and it doesn't take up any space, doesn't weigh anything. Where the normal inner tube I used to use, Butyl, would be about four times the size 10 times the weight. I'd like to point out here, Nick, that Tony has used my spare inner tube multiple times, the same one, at Hamsterley. And it was a tube lito like this. I never replaced it. No, he brings it back to my house. He rolls it back up like this, <laughs> and he brings it back to my house every time. Shocking. Because he turns up to Hamsterley every week with no inner tube. Tony probably runs water, sealant as well, so. Redshift suspension stem. They do two models, a pro and a standard one. I've been using the standard one for about a month and a half now and it's the greatest thing ever. They're slightly heavier than a normal stem, but only a little bit. It's got a little elastomers inside and that actually adjusts depending on your weight. Um, gives you about 20 mil with the travel, but just so much more comfortable, so much more control. Uh, your bike, it works like a shock, except you don't have any bobbing or anything like that. Um, doesn't affect your climbing, makes you descend faster, makes you more comfortable. The less fit you are, the faster this is gonna make you. Just purely in terms of fatigue, it's the future of gravel. Cane Creek does one as well. It's got a lockout or uh, you can adjust it, essentially how firm it is. Don't see why I wouldn't want to just on the open setting all the time, but if you wanted to, yeah, that's a, an option as well. I'm gonna start trying the Pro one out, but the only difference is weight. So I don't think it's gonna be, it's not gonna work any differently. Um, it looks a bit more shiny. Fedlock Pen Club. This is great if you're out there filming your rides with a GoPro or any kind of other action camera. Uh, magnetic. Got it in your mouth with your grill mount, riding around, you want to switch to your chest mount, unclips, magnetically, imagine that's a chest mount, goes back on. Unclip underneath your handlebar, 
Magnetic, back on. You don't have to stop, unscrew all of this. One hour later. Get it out, get your GoPro out, switch to another one, angle it right, all of this faffing about. When you can just do that, and that. Good bit of kit, that. This one's for the mechanics out there. VAR, disc brake facing tool. When you've got disc brakes, your calipers need to be mounted to your frame perfectly straight. If they're slightly skew or it's over painted, you're gonna have your rotors rubbing. So you can think of uh, those tricks where they say, oh, just loosen the calipers, pull the brake tight and then tighten it. That just doesn't work. Um, and if it's skew, it's never gonna work. So in some cases you have to actually face the frame, which means you have to take some metal out uh, of each of the holes where the disc brake mounts to and then essentially to make it perfectly flat. Almost every disc brake facing tool out there works on one at a time. So if you imagine you're cutting pieces off, it might go lower, you have to get them perfectly even, which becomes really hard because if you face one more than the other one, then all of a sudden your caliper is not going to be straight either. Now this takes all of that out of the equation because it faces both at exactly the same time. So you can get them perfectly faced evenly um, and it's just the greatest bit of kit. Um, very expensive, I think 750 quid. Vera Allen keys. Now these are excellent for several reasons. If your Allen keys aren't made uh, right, if you've got a cheap multi-tool and you use it in bolts, you are most likely gonna run the bolts if they're quite soft. So having a good quality Allen keys is key to working your own bike. If you don't have a nice one, just don't take it anywhere near your bike. These have the added bonus of lifetime warranty. So as you use, Allen keys, eventually they start rain down and get around it. With these ones, you can send it back and get a new one. So it's the last set of Allen keys you'll ever buy. And then I really like the fact that they're colored. So it just means that I've got bad eyes. I just know four mil is yellow, five mil is orange, six mil is red, 1.5 mil is the light blue, whitish color. And it's just easy because I don't have to think looking at the numbers really closely to try and see what size it is. I can just a work of colors. It makes my life so much easier. It's also easier when I've got Jimmy or Francis in the shop. I can just be, pass me the yellow one. Enduro XD15 jockey wheels. Go on your red railer. One is a guide jockey and one is a, or guide pulley. One is a tension pulley. And essentially, without them, your gears won't work. They guide the chain onto the different gears. Now, these things with time, the teeth start wearing out, the bearings start wearing out or corroding, and then they just fade. And as they get worse and worse, your shifting gets worse and worse, and it's something you need to replace. Enduro has released one that comes with a lifetime warranty. Loads of people have that on bearings, but there's not just the bearing, they've got a lifetime warranty on the teeth as well. It'll outlast your red railer, um, meaning your shifting will always be perfect in that sense. Um, and yeah, just a really good bit of kit. They do wheel bearings, bottom brackets, headsets, loads of other parts as well for bikes that are just exceptionally, exceptionally good. The XT15 is expensive, but if you do a lot of riding in the long run in terms of not having to replace stuff, it's gonna save you a lot of money. Zip 101 Explore wheels. They come in 700C and 650B. I know it's a bold statement, but I'm gonna go out and say it. It's the best gravel wheels ever made. Um, there's a lot of new stuff coming out about vibration loss, that's gonna give you, save you more time than aerodynamics. Uh, they're heavier than all the other zip wheels, but Zip's even tested it. Over an hour, what they save you in fatigue just makes them so much faster because your body's just not getting hammered as much. They use motocross technology as well where the actual rim pivots on the spokes. So you've got a lot more grip, but also a lot more comfort on them. 27 and a half mil internal rim width, hookless. Uh, so your tire doesn't roll as much when you run bigger tires. You can run lower pressures, lifetime warranty. So it doesn't matter what you do to them. If you break them, send them back. We'll send you a new wheel, just honestly. They're not the nicest looking wheels because they're really shallow, but that's a good thing as well for crosswinds. I love them. They ride much nicer than anything else I've ridden so far. That concludes 10 things that Nick loves. If there's something that you love, put it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.